you've begun to expand more and more into acting, what's the experience been like trying to, you know, balance between the two? Or is it, or you're more so in the fact that you don't really want to make a balance, it's just like whatever comes to you? You know, I, I think in, initially, you know, when, when things started to uh, pick up more for film, um, you know, as a team, I have a great team, um, a brilliant team that I couldn't do anything I can't do anything, not me, without. Um, so trying to find balance, but that's not the way this thing goes. It's not that easy to just do it that way, um, especially when you you know you're still still on the on on the rise of on your rise. You know, in a sense, um, I'm, I'm choosing a new, adding a new career to um, to my belt, I guess, and it, this only you know film and stuff. I I did something. I did a project in 2013, but I just wasn't. My head wasn't fully in TV and film and acting and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, it was more so music. And you know, years later, here I am, um, just trying to figure out. You know, now I have it. Now I'm trying to figure out how do I do both? How can I manage both um, and do it at a high level? Um, and I'm still figuring that out. Still figuring that out. But. Um, I get to do what I love doing and it's all I want to do. All I want to do is create music. All I want to do is create, uh, um, you know, uh, f- uh, film and visuals and things that move people in that kind of way. And, and I'm just expanding my territory. Um, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, 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 my team is the, my team is solid because they keep me on the time table because I'm not good, obviously with time. So, um, <laughs> you know, it doesn't, it stresses me out. So I have people who don't get so stressed out by it. So that's where I land at. And one of the first times I remember seeing you on screen was that 2013 project you speak of, um, Black Nativity. Yeah. And um, I also remember you, the, the, the next step, I guess, in that progression was um, in 2017 with the new edition story. Yeah. So out of those two roles or any of any roles that you've had early in career, what are some things that you think that you learned back then by being in those positions and having those roles that you've been able to apply um, in your career now in film and TV? Um, well, my experiences um, definitely have helped me tremendously. Um, hmm, you know, because I because a lot of my early on early projects have been music. Um, that's just opened the door, you know, because I am a music, I am a music being, you know, it's, it, it's, it's in me. So to step on camera and do that, I mean, it just kind of came, comes natural. Um, and which is a blessing because that was a kind of my, you know, not just jumping, dropping dead into a, a drama that has nothing that I am completely familiar with. So the first couple projects, I, my familiarity was, was music based. Um, yeah. And also my music business experience, um, having the letdowns, having the downfalls in my career, or the ones that I thought were, you know, my letdowns or whatever, personally, um, publicly or whatever, um, divine intervention has kind of come into play in in that sense where I've been given projects where I play a struggling artist trying to find his voice, trying to find his space in this world, and. Um, that is, my experience has lended to what I've been able to um, project honestly from an honest place. Mm. Um, and completely, tr- my best trying to be as completely as honest and open and free. Um, I think I've, you know, I've obviously from one project to the next, you would want to grow. So I feel like I've grown um, since then. And uh, those things, you know, it's, it's quite like life, you know, as an actor, you have to live life to, in order to know how to express it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's the same as music. You have to live life to know how to express it. You know, you need to have all of the ups and downs that life gives you in order to be able to see something on a page and in some ways have empathy and an openness for it. Even if you don't understand it, you know, life, other people's stories, other connections that you have kind of like sit there and you know for me i'm a sponge so i take in everything though though i don't think i do there'd be moments that wow i I i've never had that experience but i've sat with someone and watched tears come to their eyes and they've had that experience and i felt that so you know so 
I hope I answered your question. <laughs> you did. You did. And um, speaking of, you know, you talked a little bit about, you know, portraying artists, you know, trying to find their way and that sort of thing. And I thought about how this past year has been so transformative in so many ways um, due to the global pandemic and basically everything being upended. Like even kind of the fact that we're talking on Zoom now is kind of ind- indicative of the state that we're in. So how do you think going through this pandemic over the past year and, you know, working through the pandemic and during the pandemic has um, affected your lens as far as what you want in your career and also how you view your craft? Uh, Well, last year I I had an opportunity to be still and yes, really hone in on the things that, what, 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 what are the things that truly move me and that I truly care about and that, you know, mean the most to me and that are there for me people you know mm-hmm. etc thing things you know and my craftsmanship um last year I, you know i never had a relationship i never had a true relationship with uh the piano um and i i, I received an opportunity which um pushed me to want to be it as far as with the opportunity to do the to to, to capture capture this opportunity and do, be my best at it, I needed to know the piano. And as an artist, you sit there and say, why you never really tried to learn a piano anyway? You know, you're an artist. So last year made, it gave me a, an opportunity to do nothing but learn the piano, develop a real relationship with it, not just for a part, but also for me as an artist, me as a musician, um, in totality, you know, um, and which I have. Uh, now I can play the piano. <laughs> it's bizarre because it was just yesterday to me that I didn't, I, I was only, you know, two steps from just playing with four fingers, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Or playing the yeah. same thing over and over. Now I am, uh, well, in a sense, becoming well versed in it. And um, that that's what I, I gathered from that. It, it allowed me to just really let go of the things that really don't really mean much in the sense of what this world has been going through um, and just honing, hon- honing in onto my skills and uh, just being better, staying in the gym, um, getting my mental health, keeping my mental health right, you know, my heart right. Yeah. Um, and, and, and also, you know, as I'm trying to, as I'm pursuing an acting career, I want to be the best actor I can be. So I read books and, and you know, I watched plenty of films and just dissected them plenty of interviews of people I admire and I've watched their work mm-hmm. and I want to know more about them. I've watched you guys talk to so <laughs> many people, you know, and, and, and that, that has been part of what I've been doing, my downloading and uh, I'm continuing that, you know, I think yeah. hopefully everyone is, you know, like you, you want to grab the, the, the best habits and, and keep them going and, and they've worked tremendously well for me. So I, in some sense, I am, I'm grateful for the stillness.